Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Ballett. I'm from Monash University and the ARC Centre of Excellence in Mathematical and Statistical Frontiers. And my talk is called Maths, Medicine and Mosquito Sex. As a mathematician, I think I have the best job in the world because I get to think about sex all day long and it's helping me save people's lives. I research dengue fever, but that's a boring name for the disease. I prefer the cool people name, which is breakbone fever. And the reason we call it breakbone fever is because having this disease feels like every single bone in your, in your body is broken. Now, I just want you to imagine that you have this disease for a moment, right? You're lying in bed shivering. Your fever is so high that your sheets are soaked with sweat. And then you poo yourself, but you can't clean up after yourself because you're too weak to get out of bed. To me, that's a fate worse than death, but to the more than 1 million people who have had breakbone fever this year, it's their reality. But now that I have that mental image in your head, let's talk about takeaway food for a little bit. Breakbone fever is passed to humans by mosquito bite, but what if we could hijack these mosquitoes so that they couldn't do that? A cool thing about these mosquitoes is that their eggs survive dehydration. So you can dry them out and then later you can chuck them into water and then they just hatch and just release as if nothing had ever happened. It's just like sea monkeys, right? And you know who likes sea monkeys? Kids do. So what we used to do is take, get takeaway Chinese food containers with dried mosquito eggs in them and take them to schools in affected areas. And we'd be like, hey kids, you know, you want some pet mosquitoes? Go put this in your backyard, add some water, and then see what happens. And so at this point, you're probably wondering, well, if mosquitoes cause this disease, then why would you want to release more of them? But these mosquitoes that we sent out were special. They, we had hijacked these mosquitoes to carry a naturally occurring bacteria called Wolbachia. And Wolbachia is so good because it stops mosquitoes from passing breakbone fever onto humans. Interestingly, Wolbachia is passed from parent mosquitoes to child mosquitoes. So this is where they bring in people like me because we want to predict which mosquitoes are having sex with which mosquitoes because this tells us how this bacteria breeds through mosquito populations and it tells us like how, you know, we can predict how long we need to wait until we have this protection from breakbone fever. And this is what I really love about mathematics, right? We have this whole messy situation with the broken bones and the poo and the mosquitoes and the Chinese takeaway food containers and the sea monkeys. And I can come in with my mathematical toolbox and wrap this all up and come up with a solution that makes the world a better place. I mean, really, like, what isn't there to love? I mean, like, I love sex. I imagine you all do as well. And I'm using maths and mosquito sex to make the world a better place. I mean, really, what could be better than that? I hope that scratched your science itch. And thank you very much for listening.